is what feminism to me curious. feminism to me and feminism broadly is the um, pushing of an egalitarian society based around the equality of men and women is that the most generous definition that you give it? that's the most generous okay. one I could possibly okay. give so and I'm so you don't uh, like you don't think that I'm assuming you don't think that men and women are equal correct no Okay, which is okay. No, I don't. I no, don't no, think it's it, okay. Yeah. I, don't. I don't think that egalitarianism is true. I don't think that equality is real. I don't think any of those things are true. I don't think any do of those things are true. So should the, be real? No. You think is, who do you think is I don't think, well, I don't even think it's possible. You want me to tell you how Farah knows? Farah knows what I'm about to say, but I'll tell you, I can tell you how. I can tell you how men and women can't be equal. You want me to tell you? Yes. Okay. Yes. If you are to look at force, in, in society, who would you say has the, has the monopoly on force, men or women? Men on brute <sighs> men. The monopoly. I'm just they talking about the monopoly. Easily over the, their, the stronger I'd ones. be like, things are set up for men. But. Can you indicate a time in history ever, in the history of all of mankind, where men didn't have monopoly on force? On force like, as in like physical force, mm -hmm. though, correct? Like always they're always force. stronger than yeah. us oh then yeah that's yeah. the biology they have the monopoly on physical force so the question when we come down to rights is who can enforce rights the women can't enforce their own rights men have to enforce women's rights so there can never be real equality there okay can never be real this equality. literally Feminism. what the men are fuck? i just <laughs> okay does anybody have any reaction to that specifically? I have a question. Why has Go she ahead. got this picture with a bodybuilder? Yeah. <laughs> was that normal in his younger days? What that was distracting that? as fuck. <laughs> I think that there's a difference between like the quality of men that you're talking about. I feel like you're saying men in general, like all men. There's a difference between Joe Schmo on the street and Michael. Like Michael takes care of himself, not to gas you up, whatever. But you're a pretty fucking awesome dude. I appreciate that. You know, Thank like, you. and there's a difference too, between bro. there's a difference between <laughs> you and like some dude named John that never works out, that sucks at life, whatever. Like, that's the quality of man that we want, not like all men. I think I think the decision though was about equality I to deal with, not quality but equality. Yeah, but also, equality. but also, also, I want to ask that too. Like, you said a couple of things in there. Um, you said that men should control the rights of women. So you, nope. no, you I said that. I didn't make a should claim. No. Well, okay, okay. So then maybe I heard it differently. I mean, like, a descriptive is claim. Sh what is true? Human rights exist only because of men. That's what he's okay. saying. It's yeah. not so saying that they should control. Yeah. Take a should claim versus an is, is claim. It's a descriptive versus a prescriptive claim. I'm not prescribing that men take rights away from women. I'm saying what is descriptively true is that men grant women rights. Okay, cool. Like okay, but I feel like I feel like diva, 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 diva. Let me talk. I feel like someone that has such a ridiculously high ego as you should at least be physically fit. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? So anyway. I just, I just have a, 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 quick, yeah. uh, a quick question for you guys. So as a woman. I mean, woman, I think a woman as bitchy as you should be attractive. But I mean, <laughs> what do you want? Anyway. Uh, can I just say that you think like like everything that, that you say that you know and all this stuff. Is this why you come in with such an attitude like making like like you're better than us? Yes. Now, can we get back oh. to the argument? Okay, let's just agree not to insult each like, other. Like, if you guys didn't come out. So, so listen, Loretta, yeah, here, here's the situation. Anything. This guy is a professional debater. Like, he will, like, stomp people. That's that's the way he communicates. He's only interested in the content, not the context. Totally. And if, but, and if the context gets misaligned, then you don't have to say things about, like, him needing a pedicure or, you know, making fun of It gives us a bad yeah, look no, and I, it makes us women that, look But that doesn't give you a green light to be disrespectful. You are being that girl. That doesn't give you a green light to be disrespectful. What did I it do doesn't. that was disrespectful? I was just answering your question. You came at me. Yeah. I'm just going to shift come the at conversation yeah. back to the topic at hand. I just have a, a genuine question. So as a woman who is completely single, I'm not dating, I'm not seeing anybody. There is zero besides my father and my family, there is zero constant male figure. Slide in the DMs, gentlemen. In Slide life. in the DMs. Okay. <laughs> and and so I have I'm you know, I'm a career woman. I have my own business. I have my own show. Like I, you know, I've built everything myself. I got my own MBA. Like I did everything I needed to to structure my life. I need my rights. I need to be able to to vote, to, you know, to work, to I need to do all of this stuff because otherwise I'm just flailing in the wind by myself with no to your point, I don't have a leader. I don't have someone leading my home or my family. That's all, that's me. Sure. That's but, me. But can we get back to the descriptive claim of whether or not men are the granters of rights to women? That's I, the claim. I didn't disagree yeah. or anything with that. Yeah. I, I'm just asking like in the scenario, because 
I would love a perfect society where, you know, there, every woman's got a man and um, they're secure in that relationship. And he's a, you know, all the things that I think you're saying that would be healthy for the balance of men and women. I yeah. don't disagree in a perfect society, but unfortunately the reality is we don't have a perfect society. And there's women like me who, you know, have to be on their own until I find a partner that's a worthy per partner that can be all the things that you're describing. Sure. So, but you generally don't make prescriptive claims for society based on outliers. You usually take the general pool and then you make the prescription based on the general pool, knowing full well that can't ever accommodate everybody. That's an impossibility. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about what should we do, the should part of this, what ought we do? I, I'm guessing you would think. We ought to do things which are the most beneficial for the most amount of people. Mm. Is, that, is that correct? Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, if that's what you're speaking to, then we can clearly look at times, even in American history, where our prescriptions for society clearly benefited far more people. And this was even pre-suffrage for women. Seemingly, they lived much healthier lives. We didn't have a birth rate crisis. Um, almost everything across the board, pre-egalitarianism was better in American life than post-egalitarianist feminism. And that's what the claim is. And back to what you were saying, you were saying that, you know, you were, you pretty much stating that you're a successful woman, woman and you're single and stuff like that. How old are you? 34. 34 years mm -hmm. old. And um, were you ever married before? No. What was your longest longest relationship? Um, four years. Four years? Mm -hmm. Okay. And when was that? Uh, five years ago. Five years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've been single in a dating market for five years. Yeah, but I mean, like I was telling you guys earlier, I had like a really devastating breakup where I was just about to get married and it ruined, it like kind of ruined my whole Got you. feeling you around. Got with him? Mm -hmm. um, I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. that, that does suck. Um, and, and pretty much what I'm saying here is that uh, that goes back to my point that you tend mm -hmm. to have a point of contention within the be beginning of the podcast, but now you, you seem like you came towards it with uh women need guidance right and this is why these two guys do this podcast right i, I believe this is one of the reasons correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> uh, because women need guidance right so uh you're 34 years old and you're single you've been single for five years right but i have a very i just just want to clarify i don't agree with your statement that all in general all women need guidance because like i'm doing really well on my own are do you think that you're but you're doing you're doing well on your own but you're 34 and you're single but but at this point that's a very defined choice of mine that's a defined choice mm -hmm. yeah so are you uh are you celibate uh yeah i mean you could say that at how this long point. have you been celibate for uh i mean a while oh okay a while so that means that someone is sliding in between them so gaps no. and smacking it around every now okay, and then okay first of all don't, that's what that means for, hold on no 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 it, don't just, just don't so wait 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 no no, uh, no there is no 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 sir you do let not get what did i told you no one is disrespecting no, you you literally just talked to me like i was a, a 304 you've been single no the way you the way you just described that is completely inappropriate i'm sorry go ahead can you even repeat that back slap me around i'm sorry my like what the way no no i think you i think you misunderstood what he said he was using a euphemism he didn't say slap you around <laughs> yeah, he just said like like have fun like having sex with you. Sliding in you and the way you described okay, it, sir. So you, I am you, not you, a three hundred four. Okay. No, no one is saying Don't that any like man that. that has sex with a woman, he is sliding in between them, so gaps do and not, smacking and flipping things around. Yeah, that's just that's the, exactly that's what you how said. it is. Men dominate Don't, during sex. Like the conversation is over when you disrespect me that way because no I am not disrespecting you. No one is The way you just said that is so disrespectful to me. Once again, you're feeling a lot of negative emotions. Like correct because you don't talk to a woman like that. Well, I do. Well, and then there's no conversation because you're not going to speak to me like that. You're trying to twist it. I'm Sir, speaking you're not about speak not to me like current. that. I'm speaking about what you spoke about. You Complete said that. Complete well, narcissism. I'm gaslighting. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, yeah. Gaslighting. Okay, like, great, great. You, you no, so you're not going to speak to me like that. You took his name and I to me like that. You took his name and I to me like Here we go. Time out. We're going to do like this. We're going to go David first, and then Amy can respond. Go ahead, David. Let me clear it up real quick before I get all emotional, right? So I'm just saying this, and this is why I ask these questions. This is not anything malicious at all, right? This is why I walked out. So I'm saying that women need guidance, and you're saying that you're not one of those women that need guidance and i ask you these probing questions to see if well you're 34 you're single you've been single for five years well you're saying that you don't really Wait, need didn't a man she stuff say like she does this. want a man for guidance didn't you say that earlier i, I if i could find a quality yeah. male she which unfortunately said. there is none Okay, so let me finish. I'm trying to help you out. This but is just, not, just not by talking to me the way you're talking to me. I don't the have to avoid anything. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Yeah. I don't know yeah. why This is how I speak. That's all okay. you, all yeah, you gotta work in, It doesn't work in this context. And, okay, great. In Philly, this is like an, a, a compliment. <laughs> We're not in Philly. Not. I'm just kidding. I'm not, <laughs> so, all right. So, basically what I'm saying is, right, so you've uh, been single for five years and you're 34 years old and you're saying that, well, I don't need any guidance. My point is what I'm saying is, here's why you need guidance. Just let me finish my sentence, right? 
The reason why you need guidance is because you're single and you're 34 and you're, you're still having sex with... You're saying that like it's a bad thing, though. God that... dang, can I finish a sentence? <laughs> God dang, one in. you're saying it like it's one... a bad thing. Let me get Being 34 one and single, in. why is that a bad thing? Let me get thing? one sentence in. Back to you, right? We're just going to ignore her for a little bit because she over You are a complete us. narcissist Anyways, and you're right? gaslighting her No, I'm speaking to her. right now. I'm speaking I to her. I think you should just shut just, up. Just oh, let, let him just finish speaking and then you, you guys literally, can speak. I can't get Seriously, just let him move on. Okay. <laughs> you want to move on? No, I keep going. Okay, cool. So all I'm saying is this, right? The reason why you need guidance from a man is because you said that you're 34 and you're single, but you're still having sex with men. Now you may have been celibate for two weeks, or three months, or whatever you've been doing, right? But that means that you chose a man to sleep with at some point in time during you were single, and that dude didn't meet uh, uh, the requirement of a relationship for you because you had sex with him and then you got rid of him, right? Or he got rid of you, whatever it was. So I'm saying that you need guidance from a man because Guess what? There's certain characteristic traits that you can look for in a man. You, you said in the beginning of the podcast, well, Cooley, I, I, I wish it was more men out there like the guys that you speak about, right? I'm saying that there are men out there, and I'm telling you of traits, of how you could find these traits in a man and actually get what you want, which is why you need guidance, and I'm guiding you right now. So now let me tell you how these traits in a man like me and masculine men that you could find a masculine leader that can protect and provide for you and give you a future, so here's some traits of the man, right? Some of these traits is being decisive. A man needs to be decisive. One little pointer to see if a man isn't decisive when you're first texting him. He's like, hey, guess what? Uh, you know what you want to do? He's asking you what you want to do. He can't really plan a date. He's asking you what you want to eat and stuff like this. A decisive man is telling you this. Hey, baby girl, be ready at eight. We going here. We doing this. Boom, boom, boom. This will be looking for. So that's one green flag you can look for in a man that has his stuff together. I'm giving you guidance of what you need. Another trait. You ready for more? <laughs> well, I didn't ask you for the advice. Period. Well, number you, one. well, you're getting the guidance he of what said, we're yeah, talking yeah, about. I'm making you. I'm making you. <laughs> your point. Unsolicited guidance. Yeah. Listen, listen to yeah. his I, I, didn't, I didn't ask for any of that. Okay. Uh, well, great. Yeah. You didn't ask for it, but you need it because you're 34 and you're single and you're still having sex with assuming, men and not getting what you you're want. Assuming. You said that you want these masculine men. Yo, David, I, I wish it was more men like you spoke about. There's not many. Well, the reason why you think that there's not many is because you don't have the ability to retain them. You, you can re you can attract. Them, they, they'll only smash you, but then they'll dash you. So you yeah, you can attract sorry, them, but you, you can't retain these men. I think, That's I think a fact. Why are you so angry? I think we need to move on because this is going passion. nowhere. Chill out. Yeah, no, sir. You're you're giving me unsolicited, unsolicited advice, and okay, you don't know me or advice. my well, dating. You don't know how I communicate with guidance, men. Et you don't want to take the guidance. Fair enough. Roll I didn't ask you for guidance. I didn't ask you for guidance. Like thought that your guidance was just like trash like we're just like this trash. guy is guidance. just like i would never listen <laughs> yeah, to this that's guy true, so, true so let me right let me see if i can insert something here because what you're saying what you're saying is two different things here when we're talking about i think one of the reasons why women end up in a situation where like i don't trust men i don't like we just watched the very first video that was on here we don't need men don't need men no being that need men when i was on dr phil i told dr phil that there's an overwhelming um let's just say zeitgeist right there, there's this overwhelming like atmosphere that uh, men are superfluous right now. And I had to explain to him what superfluous meant. <laughs> uh, but meaning, meaning like they're nice to have around, but they're not absolutely necessary because I make my own damn money. I went to college. I went and I got my own damn business together. I got mm -hmm. my own money. And then they get to be 34 and they go, well, where are all the good guys? Where, where is, where, but that, the problem is, is that up to that point, when you get into your mid thirties, and you're looking at guys who aren't going, or you said a worthy man. You want to submit your life to a worthy man, mm -hmm. not just any old motherfucker, <laughs> yeah. but a, a worthy, worthy guy who's got his shit together, who's got, who makes more money than you, probably more educated than you, mm -hmm. probably taller than you, probably more physically impressive, like at least in some way so that you can look up to that guy. 100%. Okay. You cannot, men, women cannot look up to a man that is their equal. So the guy has to be at least this much better than you are on that 100%, on that scale 100%. so the problem is is that women are have become the men that they want to marry at this at this stage mm -hmm. so they can't find those guys anymore and so what happens is they have that fear that instinctive insecure fear that they're never going to be able to find that guy and so what do they do they try to ensure their security because they are the vulnerable sex they try to ensure that security by becoming, become, by, becoming by becoming men by becoming the, the guy that they wanted to marry and that i think is probably the number one problem that women face today is the fact that they fear 
that if they get with the guy, he's going to cheat. He's going to leave. He's going to fuck his secretary. He's going to, I'm going to invest all this, all of my sexual capital and all my agency and all my life into this guy. And there's always that outside chance that he's going to leave once he's, once he gets paid, right? Once he wins the lottery, once he makes partner in the law firm, once he becomes a surgeon, once he, whatever, when he becomes a winner, I'm going to be the loser because the things that made me attractive to him prior to all of this, I don't, those are a depreciating asset at this point. So what happens is women try to ensure their long-term security by themselves. And the guys who are, that's one of the reasons I think women are so frustrated because women, average women don't want to get with average men today because they don't make, they, they, they can't be as paid as you. They can't be as, as educated as whatever else that you made yourself. So we're looking at a generation of women who are fearful that they're going to, that those guys are going to leave or there's something is going to be, uh, something's not going to work out for them. And so therefore, once they have made their, once they've got all that security, then they find that they can't get the guys that they're hoping they're going to get, the worthy guys who that they would want to submit their lives to. Yeah. That's the number one problem that women have right Holy now. Holy shit, Rollo, did I just agree with you on something? Yeah. No, <laughs> it's so true. No, sir. Now, more to your point, I'm going to read something that's from my, my fourth book here real quick, because yeah. this is what, this is from a chapter called Big Head Babies, okay? Big Head Babies is, the reason why women are the vulnerable sex is because they are the incubators of the next generation. And so when you say women need guidance, I agree with you that women need guidance. I, I agree in the fact that men think that they need to give women guidance. And because of the state that we're in right now, where women are so fearful that they need to ensure their own security, men still want to give that guidance. And women are like, get the fuck out of here. I already made my money. I already got my 100%. education. I yes. already, I've already become yes. the motherfucker that I was hoping to marry who could give me guidance, yes. but I can't find a guy like that. So I'll give, I'll, quite honestly, I'll give myself the, the guidance because I can't find any dude that's that's worthy of my you know time or whatever. But to your so. and Michael's point, because you guys talk about this a lot, like the the pool of candidates for me, listen, I'm five foot nine. Number yeah, I was going to say this. So right? a hundred, so you want someone who's taller than you. Yeah. So six feet you tall and a hundred K. Yeah. So six mm. feet tall is 14% of men. A hundred K a year is 17% of men. Right. So if you want six feet tall and a hundred K. Okay. It's, it it's not it's not 14% smaller. or 17%. So it's let me, 14% let me just, science. Let me just run through this real quick. So human females are weak and inefficient physically compared to men, okay? So uh, so for much of the, with their ancestral lives, they were carrying around one or more weak, delicate offspring, children, right? You had to, because their uh, human babies take a long time to gestate. They take a long time to uh, reach self-sufficiency. They need female mothers mature, you know, nur for nurturing, for feeding, for, for just, you know, for guidance in, in general. And so women tend to not be able to run. They can't fight because they're taking care of children. They need men to join the military, to be able to fight, to be able to have, to be physically fit, to be, have, you know, a, a upper body strength. And if you look at just the physique side of things, men physically evolved to be animals of war. We have, if you look at the, uh, if you look at the, our bone structure, if you look at our, our uh, the, uh, what is it, the hemoglobin in our bloods, I, there's a whole list of, 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 there's of a great body, characteristics there's a great for that. Yeah. yeah. So unlike females, uh, other species are constantly dependent on males to protect, feed, and care for them because they're constantly having to, to nurture those children. Okay. Essentially, they but are. Isn't that still the case? No. Well, here, <coughs> let me see. Essentially, women are permanent children in the sense that they uh, they acquire by proximity some of the fragility and importance of humanity's very expensive children. So, if you have a weak child and you have the woman there who's uh, who's caring for the child and there's no one to protect it, well, who's going to protect? The male is going to protect that that child. Mm -hmm. So, how do you prevent the males from tyrannizing these women? to the detriment of the species by imbuing males with the same protective instincts towards them that women have towards children. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying women are children. I'm just saying the instinct is that they're seeing as that to treat that them like children. Yeah, and, it's, and the big and the big head, protect, the to big guide, to provide, to be parentally invested, to be provisioning, protection, and parental investment. Those are the three like beta qualities, right? Okay, so then there's so how uh, and how do you prevent them from exploiting that protect how women. How do you how do you protect them from men from exploiting that protective uh, instinct and take the advantage from males or uh, from making them unprotectable by ignoring male guidance, by imbuing women with the same instinctive obedience towards men that children have towards women and uh, and that's the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, just the funnel, the, the whole point of me bringing up the funnel was like, you know, because I've already done it all for myself at this point, uh, you know, like 
somebody coming to me and saying, I'm going to give you guidance. It's like, bro, you're a little too late to the game in terms of guidance. Like in terms of like dating, when someone, when someone's, you know, wants to take me out on a date, yeah. that's the first thing I'm looking for is how do you come to ask me for a date? You know, like, are they, you know, are they prepared? Do they have yeah. it together? Like I've, all of the stuff that you think you're going to tell me, I already have it down. Let me ask you one question, all right? So the guy we'll we'll that you last had sex with that didn't grant your relationship because men grant relationships and women women oh grant boy. sex. Okay, you're right? wrong so, there. Well, that is a fact. But it's anyways, not. Uh, so the guy that uh, you had sex with, right? Um, I'm not going to talk to you about any of that. No, 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 that's fine. I I'm asking you. So you said one thing when I said that, hey, oh, no, I Cooley, I wish that there were more, you know, masculine dominant men that can protect and provide for women. That's a good thing. But they're very hard to find. Yeah, so now I'm asking you that, that last guy that you had sex with, right? Was he one of those masculine dominant guys? Or was he one of those ones that you settled for a dude that just raised you up? Yeah, I just told you a few minutes ago, I'm not going to talk to you about that. And again, I'm going to discontinue all conversation okay, with you. If so you cool. use so, statements so, well, like well, rich I'll, me I'll, up, absolutely you know not. Charisma. Yeah. That's what charisma means. You, sorry, you said, I thought you said something different. Riz, Riz I know exactly what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but so it's not I what I thought you. you said. So, yeah, so let's finish this uh, conversation real fast. So pretty much I'm saying the last guy you had sex with. I already told you I'm not talking about No, no, that. no, no. This is what I'm saying. It's just one, just answer this. Was he the type of guy that don't I spoke about it. in the beginning just, of the I already podcast, told you. or was you he clearly not don't that type of guy? What I'm okay, so you. I'm not God. talking to you about. So then that means that, that he wasn't that type nope. of guy. I, that, I, no, I just said I'm not responding. Great. Dave, so so, not so that means that he wasn't that type of guy. So what I I'm saying that that man stop. raised you up. I already asked. That's a fact. So here's some guidance. I'm gonna give you more guidance. I don't even care what you're saying right now. So here's here's some more guidance. He's asked you to shut up like ten times. Great, great, great. So here's some more guys. No, you, no, you, you can you, talk you to should the group because I'm not talking to you. You should want to hear this, right? So no, the reason why you were rizzed up Nobody by that guy is because this. you prioritize the wrong you traits in a man. Okay, you want to hear yourself You prioritize speak. the wrong yeah. traits in a man, right? So guess what? <laughs> Women are more emotional, right? So <laughs> guess what? You didn't look for the things that I told you to look for in the beginning, like a man being indi uh, indecisive and things like that. What you did look for is, oh, well, is he charismatic? Is he charming? So that's why you let this dude slide in between your soul gaps, smack it and flip it around. And you gave sexual access to a dude that didn't grant your relationship. This is why you're 34 and you're single. This is why you need guidance, which I'm giving you now. I'm literally telling you how to actually get the men that you want, but you don't want to listen to that. Why is All right, she thank you. Are you ready to move on? Is she ready? She's ready to Why? plead the fifth. I understand what you're saying. She's Why ready to plead the fifth. Why is thirty-four and single a bad thing? Okay, so 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 it's, so not. it's, it's, it's not that. It's not. But, but you're Honey, saying it. You're saying it. Oh, you're saying it. It's like, well, Ava, 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 what, 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 he's, what he's saying is she still is looking for someone. She's still looking. so bad. Maybe not bad, comparatively bad, but it's like I want a thing. I want to have a company worth ten billion dollars, but I don't have it. I still want that thing. So if somebody wants to give me guidance to get there, I know this. But let me tell you, a man that talks to a woman like this would. Never make that cut. So right. it's I'm about not like looking for he's not, he's, <laughs> he's, he's Like I said, I'm not. He's, he's, not he's, 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 he's an excellent content so creator. He's creating he content. Away. Away. He's, he's going viral. I'm not trying to smash. He's literally trying to see goes away because you're not trying to smash her. It's literally goes out the door. Like literally, I'm. No, he's just trying to make content. He's trying to get click throughs. He's trying to get you diagnosed. You have to look at the full picture, though. All right, let's get to a super chat here. Infinity singular.